what I'm smoking on. I don't depend on no man to take care of me. I don't depend on, if I want something, I'm going to go get it. Yeah, this man is a What's up, your IT? I'll do you dirty, yeah. So with the JT gang, can you ask me? Okay, there we go. What's up with the JT gang? I'm so sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Y'all, I know I opened a vlog up yesterday, but I was doing too much other stuff. But y'all, of course, I'm doing the weekend vlog because, of course, just to give y'all a sneak peek at what your girl be doing on the weekends, okay? Because we be lit over her, okay? Either just to give a wrap up of what happened on yesterday yesterday we were supposed to go to the drag race i was gonna take y'all to the drag race that way y'all was able to um basically if you don't know what it is the drag race is basically like this long dragway and they race their cars and everything we was gonna go but y'all they both still about 20 dollars a person and we had like 15 20 people deep we didn't expect it to be that high. We thought it was about 10, at least 10, 20. Mm -mm. I already got a trip plan for next week. If you don't know, now you know. I got a trip plan for next week. We going to um, New Orleans. That's all I'm gonna say, but we going to New Orleans. So let me, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, y'all, my bad. Cause we're on our way to go and, ooh, let me get this line together. We're on our way to go wash the cars. So, yeah, is she trying to get by? Can she get by? Okay, cool. Let's see. Okay, we're good. This sun is killing. But yeah, anyway, so back to what I was saying, y'all. I got a trip plan going to New Orleans next week. Um, so I'm not trying to spend too much money because I got a whole lot of trips planned. When I say a whole lot of trips planned, y'all, I have a whole lot of trips planned that's coming up. So I'm really not trying to just spend too much money. Because of course, if you know, it is the first of the month. And if you know, and if you don't know, it's bill time, okay? Okay, so <clears throat> we um yesterday we just didn't do too much. We ended up saying nah, we ended up taking and um the kids end up going to AHA. So since they went to AHA, we ended up just going to our local spot that we have down here called checkers i don't know if y'all have checkers but we went to our spot called checkers and um yeah and we just really just chilled out and didn't do too much we just chilled out and didn't do too much we ended up going home so tonight we're going to um go out tonight now if anybody know me the people that know me and those that don't i'm gonna just let you know i do not go out in my city and it's nothing towards them at all i swear it's nothing towards them i just you know i feel like i done out partied my city i really feel like i done out partied my state but i just don't be too yeah it's a lot it's a lot but one day i'm gonna explain it but today ain't the day to explain it but yeah it's just a lot so i'm actually going out because bay his friend Jarvis, I know y'all do know Jarvis because he's the one that's been going to LA and Vegas with us and stuff. So we're going out for his birthday, and I'm actually at a car wash too. And we're going out for his birthday, so we're gonna go out. I'm gonna do a couple of scenes, and I'm gonna tell y'all now, JT Gang. If y'all see me tonight, I really don't want to buy nothing. I'm sorry, I'm being cheap. It is what it is. I feel like shit, my city probably don't even watch my vlogs. They probably don't even mess with me like this. So I feel like if y'all, if, if the outfit that I choose tonight be an outfit that I done already worn, don't say nothing, okay? Cause I'ma guarantee y'all that I'ma wear these outfits about two times before I be, huh? Yeah. Oh, he's gonna get some cigarettes or something. He's gonna walk through this time. I like it though. Oh, damn, my bad. I didn't know he was talking to me. Mm -hmm. I didn't know he was over there. My bad, my bad. Yeah, but, you want me to spray it? Yeah, I got to spray it. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Alright, y'all, so I'll be back. Yo, <laughs> 
Yeah. What's up with the JT gang? So y'all, I just wanted to come because you know, like I told y'all, we was going out. Um, I got I got I mean, kind of need my glasses. I can't see y'all. Okay, there we go. Ooh, but y'all can see the ring light in my lens. Okay, so we just gonna plug it out. Okay, but like I told y'all. We are going now. So, but before we go out, y'all, while everybody is getting ready, y'all, I said that I'm gonna go ahead. This is not a sponsored video. Also, remember, I'm gonna drink it on my Stella Rosa Black, y'all. But before um, everybody else still getting ready and everything, but I just wanted to come on here and just talk to y'all for a second because I heard this interview on Instagram and I was like. Let me talk to my JT gang about this and let me just hear y'all point of view on what y'all think as well. I'm getting y'all my point of view. Give me a second. Basically, it's about if the opportunity presented itself, would you become a woman to a married man that was in an open relation open marriage? Can we bring it back just a little bit? Because I want to make sure that we understood that first part. So, here and there, let me just be honest with y'all. One thing about me is I've never been engaged or married. So let me just say this for starters. I don't, I'm definitely a Christian and I don't play before God. So I feel like if somebody's in a marriage, I'm really not going to dive and dab into it. But let's just say that the opportunity came to me and I was in a situation where I needed coins. Me personally, I genuinely think, and as well, coming down below, what would y'all do as well, too, as far as ladies and males as well, too, because there is some females that out there pursuing men that has open relation that they have open relationship as well, as far as marriages is too. Me personally, I mm, I'm a trier. Hold on, let me let me drink. Let me drink. I don't know. Hold on. Okay, so let me say this. I'm willing to try things to a certain to a certain inst, to a certain extent. So basically, if the opportunity was to come, so look, I don't, let me break it down. Let me break it down. Let me remind y'all, I already been drinking a little bit. So can we just break it down? Can we break it down? And then we go from there. Okay, so as far as financially taking care of me, I feel like, I don't know, y'all, I promise you, I've never been in a situation where, you know, I had to play like, you know, have a sugar daddy or something like that. Now, I've had guys like give me things as far as money, buy me things and everything, but to a certain caliber as far as like how the girls do it now, how they get the whole apartment, cars and everything, I've never did it on that type of caliber. Now... I feel like if a guy was to come to me and he was married, I'm going to genuinely tell you, I'm going to turn it down. Like, I'm trying to find a way or a scenario or a situation that'll make me be like, oh, hell yeah, I'm going to jump on that. But I'm going to just be 100 with y'all. I come from a strong background where us as women, we're going to get it. You feel what I'm saying? We don't need a man for nothing. And it's not saying as far as I'm not going to let a man take care of me, but it's more as far as like, I don't depend on no man to take care of me. I don't depend on, if I want something, I'm going to go get it. I don't depend on a man to be like, oh, 
let me do it for you. You know what I mean? I feel like if a man want to do something for you, he going to do it. There's no reason for you to beg him. I don't even, me personally, I'm going to keep 100 with you. I don't even know how to fix my mouth to tell a man, okay, could you? Now, as far as my boyfriend, of course, I tell him, like, hey, babe, I want this, that, and the third. But as far as, like, a guy, okay. Now, as far as a guy, like a random ass guy or a guy that, you know, I meet in a club or something, I can't see myself saying, oh, what you going? Like, I don't know how. I don't know how to say it. So, if it came to a situation a guy came to me like that, I think I'd be willing to try only because I've never did something like that. But me, as far as doing anything, taking it to that second or third base or home play, whichever one leads to sex. He probably gonna be like, yeah, bitch, I'm gonna take you, I'm just taking you out to eat. You ain't even trying to do what I need you to do because I'm gonna just be, I can't. I can't, yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't. Mm -mm. I can't. 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 The relationship is between you and God. So it's like if you cheat with someone that's married, it's like okay, yeah, they have it's a difference. When someone in a relationship, yeah, they have their loyalty to each other. They should be respecting each other's boundaries. Okay, I understand a relationship. Cause at any day they can go. But when you get married, but when you get married. It's almost like, yeah, it's paperwork being done, but it's like, I'm coming to God. I'm coming to you to let you know this is my partner. This is who I want to split my rib with. Even though that, you know, mm, if you know if you're a Christian, this is who I want to split my rib with. So, I feel like I'm not, mm -mm. So, God can look at me. And look, and now, come on, let's be 100. Nine times out of ten, any woman that talks to a man that's in a relationship, whether they call it open or whatever, maybe the wife might look at you like, hold on, this, this girl look a little way better than me, okay? So you think I'm going to let you talk to her? You might end up leaving me. So, uh-uh. It might, she might change her mind behind. This open marriage is closed. Now, bitch, it's over with. Nah, uh-uh. I'm just looking at a long-term thing because I know I'm a bad bitch, okay? I know I'm a bad girl, okay? But my thing is, you is not finna get me in the middle of this. And then when the whole world started looking at it, and when I say the whole world, the people you may know, or, you know, obviously if it's somebody, y'all gotta have some type of relation. You know, I mean, as far as friends, or maybe the people y'all hang around, or the areas y'all may hang around, or the city you may be in. You know what I mean? Now, if it's somewhere you flying out here and there, okay, cool, that's understandable, but you got to think, anytime that woman decides she want to flip the script, she can make a post. And the way these social sites on the internet go nowadays, they be ready to tell anything. It got, it could be about a dog that ate a dog on rabbit. Shoot, they ready to tell all oh, the dog has just tore up the rabbit. Like, they ready to tell anything. So you think they ain't going to be ready to tell about a girl that was messing around with a guy? And I'm going to be 100 of guys. They just look at us as side pieces if we were to play that role because you got to think that's who they married to. They owe loyalty to them. The wife is giving them the okay to mess around. But at any time that their wife decides she want to close that door, he going to close that door with you. But you know what, though? When he closed that door, everything he do from here on out, if he want to continue to still do his open marriage thing, it's going to be quiet. But... When she say cut you off, you're definitely getting cut off. And anything furthermore, he going to stand beside his wife. And you might be all consumed in the fact that, oh, he just paid my bills. How am I pay this rent? See, and that's the other side. Like, what if he decides to cut me off? Like, you don't put me into a whole new tax bracket. Like, how am I supposed to? I understand that. Like, oh, what? You know, why you doing? You supposed to get a job. But shoot, if all I got to do is give up a little, mm -hmm, and uh, he paying my bills and everything. I'm going to be 100 with you. I ain't going to think about no job. I just know that all I got to do is spread my legs and my bills going to get paid. So that's why that's why Jill said I can't go down that road because I'll probably be lost in the sauce, y'all. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. 
But yeah, I just wanted to stop and talk to y'all because I just heard this on Instagram and I was like, mm, I don't think I could do that. I don't think I could, y'all. But let me finish getting ready. I just wanted to stop and talk to y'all for a second. If you made it this far in my weekend vlog, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to your girl stuff, okay? Okay. Jesus get up and say that that is a God. Oh, Praise wow. you. Praise you. 